Okay, folks, check this out. I got my metal detector shovel, a bottle probe. I don't know how well you can see this, but this is a big old root cellar hole. You way around that way, up and that way. I've metal detected all up along there. I come down through the bushes. I found one broken little blue bottle over there. It's coming back around this way. I look down in the bushes here, and I see an amber bottle down there, and it looks like a poison iodine bottle or something. Ha ha ha, it is too. <laughs> right on. Check it out, and the cork is still in it. Sweet. What are the odds? I see some more glass right up in there. I may have found where they've been dumping their uh, glass around here. All right, I'm gonna keep scraping around. Hey folks, well, I found a little, it's like a 60s or 70s site, maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's any earlier. But anyways, I just dug this here up. Some marks, figurine. It looks like a caveman. U.S. Marks. I don't know if he was holding a weapon at one time and it broke off or what. Looks like maybe like maybe a rock in this hand. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty neat. I'll hang on to it. Get it cleaned up. Okay, folks. Still on this probably 40s and 50s site. Well, the best find so far, I just popped out right here. Just came out. A little, is it, half ounce ribbed cobalt blue poison type bottle. It's a screw top, but it's still a nice little find, yeah. Worth a few bucks for sure. All right, onward. Okay, folks, I'm just digging out my uh, hole from the last time I was down. It kind of caved in since. But check this out. I didn't think I'd ever dig up one of these. I think uh, most diggers go years and they never dig one of these up. Check it out. This is almost like a bucket lister, folks. The excitement. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's a human hand. Oh, no. Okay, folks, check this one here out. a big one looks like it's got grapes on it so maybe it's a wine bottle some sort of fancy on it there looks like a unicorn I don't know a few different things there there's a it is a cork top there's a cork of some sort still in it I don't know if it's a rubber cork yeah I'd say it was it's pretty much broke off in there now Okay, and it's full. Well, it's not full, but it's quite a bit of liquid in it. It says something here on the back, too. Windsor Company Limited. Walkerville. Okay, I'm going to have to look that up. Looks like it's going to be a nice bottle if it cleans up good. All right. Check it out, folks. We got a, an ACL bottle right in here. It looks like it says naturally good. I don't know how what kind of condition it's in. Let's pull it out and see. Uh, missions beverage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's only the second one I lose I found. So I think I got my first half decent find of the day. This little uh, 
don't know if it's a three-quarter pint or what it is. A little amber one, cork top. It does appear to be blown with a tooled lip. CD Limited. I looked that up and uh, couldn't find anything on it. Just did a quick search. But uh, this is not embossed. But it is a nice little flask. Just the same. So I'm going to keep it. Alright, let's see if we can get anything else out of here. Okay, folks, check this out. Just pulled out this piece of cobalt blue glass. It was embossed. It's blown with a applied lip. And it's got the cork still in it. It's chipped, but it is blue. It's a blue cork. Haha, <laughs> that's a first for me. I'm going to be keeping that. Yep. Blue cork. Nice. Hello folks. <laughs> Check this out. I just had a major cave in here and I haven't touched this. My shovel's still stuck underneath the, the pile here. But look what's sitting right on top of the right on top of the pile here. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. First time I picked it up, but I knew what it was just looking at it. Check it out. An embalming fluid. The Dodge Chemical Company. Usually they have on the bottom the date. No, nope, this one doesn't. Probably an earlier one. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice way. Uh, nice to, to get that one, I'll tell you that. All right, let's keep going. Good day folks, welcome back to another bottle digging bonanza recap. This one took place at four different locations. I thought I'd just throw them together, they're kind of interesting uh, finds. So I thought they'd go well in uh, this particular video. Now let's start off with this here uh, Missions Beverages. And this one, the ACL's gone off the back of it here. But it did say from Machias, Maine down here. So that was kind of interesting. And I think this one here is from the 40s. And I had found a Missions beverage one other time. And I'll show you that one. I got it sitting right here. And you can see the difference in the bottles. This one's got uh, like a swirl pattern up around the shoulder. And I think this one's from the 50s. And this one's from the 40s. So that's kind of interesting. I'll set them back down there. This one here, an embalming fluid, and this one's going to be from 1946, I believe. It's a screw top up here. It says research, art. No idea why it says this stuff, but and that says progress and science. Nice bottle. I found these before from the same location. Dodge Chemical Company. Uh, chemical Company, Canada Limited. Nice bottles. Now here's a beauty. Check it out. This has to be a wine bottle. I couldn't find any info online about it. But you can see down here. Let me see if we can get focused a little better on it. The Windsor Company Limited, Walkerville, Ontario. Like I say, it's most likely a wine bottle, I'd say, given that there's grapes all over it. And you can see here, there's like a, a unicorn and a castle and a bunch of grapes and something else going on here. I don't know if that's a cauldron or what, but nice bottle, crown up here. All right, cool beans. And this one here is just a blown little half pint or three quarter pint. It's a nice bottle, it cleaned up well. I hang on to it. Great big cork still in it too.
And next, folks, we got this uh, Mark's Caveman here. This is from 1963. And uh, there's several different types of these, different, uh, you know, different postures. Now, this guy here, uh, he had a, a knife in this hand and a club in this one, and they're obviously broke off. They're gone. And these things came in big bags of puffed wheat and puffed rice. That was kind of interesting to find. Next is just this piece of red glass. And you can see there's a date on it. July 11th, 1939. You don't find much red glass, so I don't anyways. Some pink, a couple pink shakers. There's this one. And then we also have this one here with a nice uh, pattern on it. This is from Jeanette Glass Company, 1932 to 1934. And the pattern on it is called uh, the Atom Pattern. You can see down there, and pattern up around here. The lid on it is still in fairly decent shape. Whoa! Whoa, Nelly. All right. Little blue uh, poison. Half ouncer. Another poison. What's your poison? Poison liquid iodine. Still got the cork in it. And there is a little bit of fluid still in it, you can see. I left it in there. Which reminds me of a joke. Uh, guy walks into a bar with a roll of tarmac under his arm. Says to the bartender, give me a beer and one for the road. All right. Doorknob. Nice pattern on it. Check it out. Sweet. All right. Johnson's American Anodyne Liniment. Common bottle. I find lots of these. This one's machine made. And finally, just uh, this amber here. Interesting mold. Looks like a four-piece mold. So that's going to be it, folks. I think I can hear that music playing. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. and Happy Halloween, everybody. And we'll see you all in the next one. Over and out. What? <laughs>